Hi there, welcome to this week's episode of The Heart of a Youth Leader, a weekly podcast, just short eight, nine, ten minute episodes to encourage you in your walk with God and with Jesus as you seek to share him and the good news with children and young people in and around your church. Uh, if this is your first time you've listened to an episode, uh, welcome. My name's Andy Castle. I run Thrive Youth Ministries based in Leamington Spa, right in the heart of the Midlands of England. Uh, and uh, we exist to try and encourage churches to have thriving youth ministries. We believe that everyone is better walking with God than walking without him. Uh, and so welcome. It's good to have your company. These are designed to be purposely short, not to give us tips and tricks for great youth work, although that's really important. But lots of other people do that really well. This is actually a bit of soul time for you as a leader. You as someone who's got a heart for, for young people, we want to make sure that your heart is greater for Jesus. Your heart is greater for our Heavenly Father. Uh, and so today I want to dive straight into a passage in Deuteronomy. don't know how often you, you go into uh, Deuteronomy, uh, but it's a fascinating book and uh, speaks so clearly to what we need to do today in this generation. We are looking, Moses has just shared the Ten Commandments in Deuteronomy 5 uh, and following on from doing that in the next chapter, in chapter 6, these verses particularly stand out to me starting from verse 6. It says, these commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. These Ten Commandments are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. When you lie down and when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. And I love this because Moses is going, guys, this is the most important thing for us. If we want to live well, if we want to live with God, we need to take these commandments seriously. We need to not only get them inside us, but we need to get them inside our children. Uh, and of course, in, in uh, Old Testament times, it was the people of God, the family of God. And so your children are my children, my children are yours. They don't have the concept of a nuclear family where the mum and dad uh, care for their kids and their kids are only their responsibility. They were actually the responsibility of the people of God. And, and I think we've got to grasp that back as the New Testament church, as people living uh, in the, uh, the, the freedom of the resurrection. We need to remember that we don't need to live in the ways that society tells us. We need to live in the ways that the gospel tells us and the New Testament tells us. And that as church to be the family of God. And therefore, my children are your responsibility. Your children are my responsibility. But the thing is, what's crucial here is this importance of passing on our faith uh, and to do everything. And Moses is saying this is a lived out passing on. This is being intentional about passing it on. It's not hoping that our children will grow in faith. It's not living a life that just means we go to church on a Sunday. That's our faith. And then the rest of the week we live as we want or do as we please or fit in with our neighbours, it's actually, he's saying, whatever you're doing, make sure people understand, make sure your family, make sure your children, make sure uh, the people of God value the importance of the commands. Uh, and he's saying, get these commands inside you and get them inside your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. So when you're, when you're sitting at home with your family, talk about God. When you're driving in your car, talk about God. When you're going to the cinema with your family, talk about God. Talk about his commands. Talk about his goodness. And I believe this is one of the fundamentals we need to get back into our Christian parents. Oh, tell your children how you came to faith. Tell your chi children what difference knowing Jesus makes to you. Tell your children when they're thinking of, Dad, I don't know what to do in this situation. Tell them about the goodness of God. Tell them about God's faithfulness. Tell them about God's provision, his guidance, and pray with them. Discipleship is, a, is an experience, not an education. We're not here to teach. 
children, the theoreticals of God, we're here to saturate them in the experience of his love. Uh, and, and so as youth leaders, we need to work with parents. We need to help them understand how they are the primary disciples in their houses. You know, as youth leaders, perhaps in a good year, we get 100 hours with, with each young person a year. 100 hours a year. That's probably what, how much time we spend with uh, each young person intentionally. Parents get to spend over 2,000 hours a year with their young people their children. So we need to invest in the parents and help them to, to, to take these verses seriously. Uh, and what I love is, you know, we've had the uh, Ten Commandments said, and then Moses said this, but immediately before this verse, verse four, he says, hear, O Lord, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength these commandments I give you today need to be on your hearts. And that is what Jesus is referring to when he's asked what's the most important commandment, what's the greatest commandment. He quotes this verse, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul and with all your strength. And, and he's implying what Moses said and make sure you impress it on your kids. So what can we do to impress it on our kids? It starts with our worship of God, it starts with our full devotion to him, giving our everything, not giving a bit, giving our all, uh, and, then, and then being intentional about chatting the gospel with our children, chatting the gospel with the young people in our, in our youth groups. It probably isn't uh, the most important part of our youth group being when we teach them from the front or when, when we tell them stuff. The most important part of our youth group is those off-the-cuff conversations we have before and after the youth group with different teenagers, just sharing about what's going on in their life, sharing about what's going on in our lives. Uh, and I love how the message translation puts these few verses. He says uh, in, uh, in, in the message, write these commandments that I've given you today on your hearts, get them inside of you, and then get them inside your children. Talk about them wherever you are, sitting at home or walking in the street. Talk about them from the time you get up in the morning to when you fall into bed at night. Tie them on your hands and foreheads as a reminder. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your homes and on your city gates. I love it. He's basically saying, make this the priority in your life. To, to love the Lord your God with all you've got and then to make sure you are talking about it to your children all the time. Be purposeful about it from when you get up in the morning to when you go to bed. Make sure we're teaching them of the goodness of God. How easy it is to grow up in ignorance of how wonderful God is, how wonderful our Father is, how, how uh, sacrificial Jesus was and what a blessing his spirit is to us. And so Moses is saying, write it on your door frames, stick it on post-its on your mirror, write it in your car, write it on the city gates. Put it everywhere to remind everyone the importance and goodness of God. Uh, and so this week, I would love you to consider how you can be intentional about making sure that we talk more with children and young people about the commands of God and the goodness of God. And it starts with our devotion to him. Go for it.